of general emergency has been called by the woolly military. As you may already know, a great catastrophe has befallen us that threatens to destroy our very woolly way of life. Bubsy Bobcat! <laughs> a bit of a long story, but here's the abridged version, approved for public dispersal by their royal highnesses, Queens Polly and Esther. Our magnificent queens devised an ingenious plan to steal all the war balls of Earth, but they were foiled by the fiendish Bugsy Bobcat. Now our queens have developed an even more ingenious, if such a thing is possible, invasion plan. Unfortunately, they needed to get that furball out of the picture! <laughs> so a crack troop of woolly commandos were sent to work. There, they fought bravely and captured the hideous beast! <laughs> due in no small part to my brilliant tactical leadership. On the return trip, uh, due to a slight technical difficulty, the rocket carrying the beast crashed and the bobcat escaped! Woohoo! Now, if you see the bobcat, do not, I repeat, do not approach it! It can be extremely dangerous when frightened by the average woolly! Woo! Report its whereabouts immediately to the nearest woolly soldier. We have stationed nose blowers and rock throwers throughout the area around the crash site. We anticipate having recaptured the creature in two shakes of a dogfish's tail. Any questions? What does it want? What did we ever do to it? We have our best people in Woolly Intelligence working on that right now. So far, all we know is that the creature's plan somehow revolves around collecting atoms and rockets. What it plans to do with these useless yet abundant natural resources, we have no idea. Our best scientists have been stumped by that very question for decades. And all they've come up with so far is a spacecraft capable of interstellar travel. Why would this interest the furry fiend? Oh, again, we have no idea. Now then, I advise all citizens to remain in their homes until further notice. This meeting is... I should have taken that left turn at Uranus! Was it something I said? What could possibly go wrong? Wow! You wanna be a video game star! For starters, grab all the items you see! There's plenty of them in each level! And if you get enough of them, you'll be in for some surprises! Now, what would a platform game be without platforms? Hmm, I wonder if there's any extra lives up there. Instead of at the beginning of the level! Hey, my friend! See that thing in front of you? That's a switch! Just run into it to make something cool happen! Oh, oh, this is my favorite part! Hold the square button when you walk up to an atom! Go ahead, try it! But don't hold it too long! Come on, Carl! Don't be shy! Step right up and win! You up a prize! Shoot the woolly with the atom! Find 
31 more of these and we're like yesterday's clams. Chowder here. Well, let's go get the other one. There's two on every level, you know. Once I grab this power up, Bobsy Smash Puny Wally.
Batman X Men.
Plato, Barada, Nitro!
First come, first served!
convention!
Bull 
have a problem.
can't read the instructions, then you...
suffered heavy casualties, but Bugsy has left the planet. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. At approximately 4,500 hours, our majestic queens soundly defeated the furry villain and placed it into custody. <laughs> Unfortunately, no one bothered to take the stolen rockets from the culprit. Within seconds, it had constructed a working model of the X-1 rocket that brought it to our planet. Here to explain what happened next is Rayon's most renowned scientist, Professor Woody Nerdopowitz. Ahem. Using the stored atom capacity he'd built up in his fur. <laughs> now pay attention! This is important information! Please, Professor, continue. Uh, thank you, General. As I was saying, using the stored atom capacity he built up in his fur. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me. Now then, using the stored atom capacity he built up in his fur. Which, I'd like to add, was stolen at the expense of the Woody Water and Power Company. You'll find this reflected in next month's electricity bill. <gasps> really? If I could be allowed to continue? Using the stored atom capacity he built up in his fur. Using the stored atom capacity he built up in his fur? The prisoner was able to make an escape. Now, this cloud does have a war lining. Our understanding is that the hairy fiend did not procure enough rockets to build a complete model. Professor? Uh, yes, General, you are correct. For example, this ship has neither an oscillation overthruster nor a flux capacitor. Ahem. <clears throat> Without these items, the ship's secondary inversion missile invariant beam will emit a tachyon pulse that... In short, Mr. Fuzzy will find the rocket will not be able to return to Earth. Instead, it's to be stranded somewhere between Saturn and Uranus. I've just been informed that we've been able to establish a link with the rocket's onboard camera. <laughs> That's the wrong feed! Try channel B12. can stop our invasion plans. Earth and all its war will be ours! <laughs> He built up in his fur. The prisoner was able to make an escape. However, this cloud does have a wool lining. In addition to procuring 32 rockets, the specimen took far more atoms than the rocket's engines can handle. I predict this will cause an inversion loop overload of the X one's primary core thruster, resulting in a hyperbolic cascade Zuber reaction that will tear the very fabric of the space time wool continuum. <sighs> 
bobcat of Stelinus will find himself hurtling through time to an earlier period in his planet's history. Our sensomatic screens lost track of the rocket somewhere around the Dark Ages. Thank you, Professor. Now I'd like to grandstand a bit, if you don't mind. By all means, General. Now, no one can stop our amazing plans. Earth and all its war will be ours. Ha <laughs> ha!